Presentation, two themes. Numbers mean nothing without knowing their operational significance. Okay? In other words, um, just showing a chart at the end that says these are the revenue growths and all that without explaining what it all means or how it impacts strategy doesn't really tell you anything. You're basically asking the reader to do the work. Right? You're supposed to show the numbers and then explain what the numbers mean. Numbers mean nothing without their operational significance. This isn't a strategic assessment. For accounts and others, numbers mean a lot on their own. But in this environment, just the numbers don't mean anything. You have to explain them. Um, second point is, the words don't really mean anything unless you can show how it affects the financial performance of the organization. It enables judgments about the issues. The numbers help you understand whether or not what you're saying about the strategy is true. If you say to me that this particular firm, I'm trying to think of an example recently that we talked about, this particular firm is having, that the suppliers have a lot of power in their industry, you know, the five forces model, suppliers have a lot of power, you should see that in gross margin pressure, right? The gross margin should be getting narrower and harder to sustain because of that supply of power. Well, if there's a lot of new entrants, you should see pressure on pricing, which means that your gross margins go down, right? These things are connected. It's how you really can, you can reinforce or support your strategic assessment by getting the numbers to, to support or to resonate, tell the same story, essentially, as, your, um, as the rest of your business, okay? Um, this is not easy. I'm not saying this is easy. In fact, what I really want you to do is just start to think this way. It's not just words. They're all right answers, and they come from the, from the numbers. Um, you can't just, it, in, when you talk about just words, sometimes you can say any answer is the same. You know, you don't really know if it's the right strategy or not. Well, when it's in the numbers, you know if it's the right strategy, because if it's increasing your revenue, which increases your gross margin, that increases your operating profit. That's a good strategy. If it's depleting your profits or depleting your revenue or your sales growth, that's a bad strategy, right? So there is an answer. You want your operating profits to increase. You want your gross margins to increase. You want your revenue to increase. There is a trajectory that is correct, that is what you're looking for, right? And your strategy can show, can be complemented by that. So you can show that not only is it a good idea, does it sound good, is it attractive to develop your brand? You develop your brand and cause your brand, like a Victoria's Secret story, you develop your brand and you support your brand. Why? Because that can sustain your pricing. If you sustain your pricing, you, increase, you keep good, strong gross margins. If you have good, strong gross margins, lots of money comes in so you can develop new markets and new products. That's how the logic goes. The connection is there. And I hope going through these, um, these various charts and talking about the pieces of the business help, um, help you think about the financials in a relatively straightforward way that is linked directly to strategy. Because it's only when strategy and the financials come together so that one is the flip side of the other, the yin and the yang, if you will, of the strategic assessment of the business, that is when you know that your business, your, your strategic assessment is adding value, not just to the business, but also to the management of the business so they can understand what needs to be done to increase shareholder value, to make customers have a much stronger uh, desire to buy the products and services, and so that the employees know that their business will be around for many years to come.